Here is why I'm redoing my whole UI for my game. I've spent weeks on the old UI and now I just delete it and start over. If you want to get free access to all the new things we had, I suggest joining our Discord. It's free and it helps us. Before starting over, we had this UI, which I mean, it looks good, right? It's responsive, it looks nice, but it just doesn't fit the game. And because game dev isn't linear, I decided to take a step back, delete everything and start over again. The old UI was round and colorful, while the new UI should be aggressive and high in contrast in order to convey this style of gameplay. I generated some colors online and opted out for a red and black scheme since it was aggressive while at the same time aesthetically pleasing for the player. I started off with redoing the navigation bar. I removed the round corners and the background and instead edit in a red bar at the bottom and draw the script that fills it out completely if it's selected. I also added some functionality to switch the colors of the text if it's selected. Now that our navigation bar is ready, we can finally focus on the easy part. So I added in a home button and a car menu button. So you can go back to your home menu or show all your cars. These are basically just a few rotated cubes with a mask map and some lean tween. You might be wondering, what is lean tween? Lean tween is basically a code library for animating stuff without using the actual animator because I hate animating, so I'm using code. Then I also added the same functionality as the navbar, changing the colors when selecting and deselecting. And now comes the part I've been pushing away for months. So I need to code some sort of database to save and load the data as well as receive and send it. So I also want to save and load a picture of the car in order to make it look nice in the menu. So I basically coded the whole system to save the camera data, then remove the background, then save that image, modify that image to make it transparent and then save it all again and then it works, I think. And since that wasn't enough, I also added in a way to change your keybinds. This in fact was so hard that it took me three weeks to code. And to be honest, that's mostly due to the fact that I can't use the new input system since all my previous code bases on the old input system, which would be a pain to rewrite. With that said, you should subscribe. That's all I have for you today and see you in the next episode.